He don't read my people as he don't boss. I said the Biafra Nations League has uh, done it again once more, which has put uh, your one and only Jagaban in shock as uh, their oil installation has been brought down, attacked by the BNL. My people now, so it go they hot. Anytime when it comes to anything we consign the Biafra movement, it is a well prepared movement and uh, anything we want happen go happen without delay yes my people will be going into the details of this news as see the hot uh, uh, so yes uh, the latest one as it be right now is that the Biafran Nations League has seized control of a major oil installation, of course, close to the Niger Delta region, uh, which has further escalated the conflict and dealing a severe blow to Zoo's economic lifeline. Yes, uh, the attack has been has taken place and the BNL forces overtaking the facility after a brief standoff with the security personnel or that uh, of course the people they put in place to actually secure the area um the oil installation which is one of the largest of course in the region accounts for a significant portion of the Ni nigeria's uh, crude oil production and revenue the takeover has a uh, shock set <laughs> through nigeria's oil industry with fears of production disruptions and a spike in global oil prices yes and the uh, expert has estimated that the halt in operations at the facility could uh, cost the country millions of dollars in revenue daily which they would normally still take and would not affect I repeat, would not even affect anything at all. It is still in this same economy that the fuel has risen to 1,500 and so on and so forth. Uh, so, my people, what is even the need of uh, the amount of money that, it's, that is made daily since it is of no use and uh, the people are not even benefiting? from it so my people it is a uh, of a waste because it is these are the amount of money they, they they log into their accounts and take every day sharing what is ours to themselves <laughs> my people taking and the attack on this particular movement is a uh, crucial and I believe it is what is needed one way or another. The zoo government already grappling with uh, a halt and uh, everything that is happening is struggling to regain control of the situation. President Tunimbu has declared the, the movement, uh, that the Biafra movement, as a national threat. And the emergency meetings have been held to address the crisis. Nothing will be able to stop what uh, we've decided to go on. I repeat, nothing. And this is because uh, these people have refused to hack to the warnings of uh, the movement of PM Simon Edward and everything that they uh, have been coming against at this point he has refused and so because of that anything they see let them take it that way because of course we know how far and how deep we've gone and how we how we have really suffered in the hands of this set of people to be where we are right now and then we are not going to keep uh, allowing it to happen they will have to listen to us one way or another okay uh they say that the i am um, the of course it is known that uh, this was done by the bnl and uh, they have said that this is just the beginning and uh, said the spokesperson and Nigeria's stronghold on our people and resources will end. My people, it is as easy as A, B, C, D. Let this particular set of people go. Give us permission. Give us a referendum. And uh, we will not have any problem with you. We would simply disappear. And uh, 
would settle the issues that are meant to be settled with uh, borders as it should but then uh, you have decided to hold us fair and square to put us in bondage to look for a way to cleanse us well if that is what we have that if that is the decision they have made then they have failed woefully because we are not going to let any of it happen not at all okay uh, my people i see the heart this is what we have for you the next thing you will be hearing would be what is connected the pn uh, giving us a hot fearful broadcast as a uh, hot on this level okay my people enjoy i've always taken your time to educate us and also teach us since we in Nigeria, or those of us who are outside Nigeria, still didn't know about freedom fighting, you are bringing it to our doorstep. We thank you for this, Prime Minister. Choku Goziegi. I want to use this opportunity also to say to you, in the past one month, if you have observed that on this Twitter space, new recruits of this Nigerian agent spring up most probably they have sensed that we are more closer, we are much closer to our December 2nd declaration. Prime Minister, please, what do you have to say about this? Because these new recruits, they are much and coming out more and more. Please say but I, I have wondered about it before they started coming out. You are following, like you said, you will know that, uh, you know, immediately I issued warning about uh, the possible attack and the propaganda. They started springing up. So you shouldn't be surprised. Why are you surprised at asking me what, what should we do? <laughs> I've already told you that uh, this is going to happen and this is happening. And this is just the beginning of wait until we enter October. I see. Prime Minister, irrespective of these attacks coming up from all these um, saboteurs, Nigerian agents, we see how powerful you become. And this draw me back to the very beginning when you started your broadcast. You say, bring out the best. You told the Nigerian, bring out the best of the best you have. And the more you attack me, the more I get stronger. Prime Minister, are you still expecting them to attack you more? <laughs> I am yet to see, I am yet to see their best. <laughs> and I wish I wish I will see something very, very interesting because that's where my energy comes from. So I'm yet to see anything good, you know, uh, you know, somebody that can actually match up with something, you know. I want to see them to, you know, attack me with something that is realistic. You understand? Yes. I want to. I want to see exposition of Simon Ekpa. Like expose Simon Ekpa. That's what I want to see, and I'm not seeing that. Prime I'm Minister, not seeing that in now. Prime Minister. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Before I end this um, my conversation with you, I want to say we have seen the good work of your cabinet members, those who are representing us both in the Washington and those carrying out their duty, which have been assigned to them. I want to use this opportunity and this medium to say thank you to all of them, and may God continue to strengthen them. The Minister of Minister of Communication also. I want to use this medium to say thank you to each and every one of uh, of you, and may you continue to excel in your in your various um, assignments. Prime Minister Kachuku Gozuno, Jishini. Thank you very much, and I'm uh, very happy that uh, everybody is observing the uh, you know the workflow of the Biafra government, both in the exile and the homeland. Exactly, everybody is working. Everybody is working. Every department is functional. That's what we're. That's why we're government. So this is our government. It is your government. Yes. This government is our government. Okay. It works for the people and everybody is committed. Yes. That is what that is what has never happened in the history of Biafra struggle since after the war. It's happening now. One one Thank more you. thing, Prime Minister. One more Go thing, ahead. Prime Minister. Your government, this brick government, Biafra government in exile. There is something different which we are which I have been able to figure out between our Biafran government and the Nigerian government. We give the power to the people and the people vote. And just like you said in your broadcast here this evening, that on December 2nd, we will receive signature from the people to give them, to give us mandates to represent them. This is true democracy and this is power to the people. That is why nobody will ever, 
ever yes. look down on what we are doing. That's why Nigeria, they don't know. Even Nigeria, you know, they, they, they are, they are uh, they don't study, they don't, they don't, read. They don't know anything. But leave them. Let them continue to call us on online country until, 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 it's we, until their eyes will open. Yes. <laughs> you see, what, they have we doing, what we are doing now is offer they can never ever resist. resist. So let them look down on us. You know when we started the how many of you remember? When we I remember the, when we started the referendum. They said, <laughs> who, who is a scam? <laughs> who is a who is this it? Is it you and uh, yeah, is you this, but look at think tank group, policy makers of the highest in the highest level in the, States, in the UK, the same UK, they are now reporting and telling decision makers to keep an eye on the Biafra self referendum. The that self referendum they mocked. Today is no longer a joke. Everybody is taking it seriously because they know that he has more than he see me here. Exactly, and that's exactly what we have, we have, we have, we have, we have a smarted Nigeria, and they never expect. They don't even know what is going to happen. Just wait until after December second. Thank you. We did Thank do in the show. You. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Thank you, Crazy. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, my Pierre, I want to also confess. That you have infected us with your shock absorber. You know, the fact that uh, when you are being attacked, and we're watching how you are able to take all the bullets. So, attacks on any one of us, <laughs> it becomes like child's play because you infected every one of us with the shock absorber that we are able to resist any form of bullet that comes our way. And we are grateful to you, sir. Thank you very much. Our who, who, will ever, who will ever believe that Biafra <laughs> will leave market in the morning on Monday morning? Impossible. Oh, is it not happening with uh, with the happiness? Seriously. When they have Seriously. understood that this is if the sacrifice, if this is the sacrifice they will do to get freedom, they are happy. And these people still live in the past. They tell you, oh, we are uh, traders. We are this, that, that. People are telling you which trader. I don't want to go to trade. I need freedom. And they are shocked. Till today, they are still arguing. Oh, he's destroying business. Oh, Igbo people are known for business. Why is Igbo people known for business when there is a government that should have social well, social services, welfare of the people, and they, they condition you to go to uh, do buying and selling in order to eat? Today, we have defeated that mentality. It's one of the biggest achievements of this government. Thank you. Thank you so much, my Prime Minister, and which uh, will you for me to increase your grace. And you are anointing. All right, we'll continue. Uh, we have uh, David. David, just hold on a minute. Let me take these two hands and then you come. And uh, Abu Jiebe, please uh, unmute yourself. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Van Van Van. My special greetings to our Prime Minister, Simon Njoko Eba, Meju Ebuago. May our days be longer. And also, greetings to every all the government officials, special greetings to every one of you that have been. Go, ahead, go, go straight to the question. The PM doesn't have time. Just go straight to your question, please. Okay. Abu Jebo, go straight to your question. Please allow me to say to, to thank our Prime Minister, please. Others, others have been doing that, okay? Moving forward, please, our Prime Minister, my question goes like this because of time factor, I have to make it brief. As I know, for you, as you because of our this our sister Amaka. Now we have a government that are very eager and ready to protect each and every of us. Is there any way you can come in to showcase everything that this Nigeria Islamic terrorist government has done to Igbo people, both verbally and the otherwise? That we help Amaka as well and let the whole world know. Why Amaka acted the way she acted? Because as I come in, please, that is my question. Is there any way you can, the government of Biafra can come in? Because now it's government versus government. Because Nigeria government is involved. The House of Senate and the representative is involved. It's like you, yes. just, want to, it's just, like you just want to talk. Thank you. <laughs> the Amaka issue has been, it has, it is almost a, a bygone. You know, are you not following up the events? Yeah, I'm uh, following up. I'm, I'm following up, but because Amaka claim Amaka claim damages from the uh, Abike that they 
the uh, Nigerian government should be involved. Is that not victory? You are watching. That's what the victory. So of what exactly? So what exactly are you trying to say? You know, some of you, eh, some of you, I don't know. Some of you just, you just if you are here now, just knock your head. With you, you will up, and and I call when we are very little. And the debaka, I'm going to say debaka. The criminals went aside contacting her. I've been making video about her. We provided evidences to the Canadian government, and we are ready to provide and defend her, even including providing lawyers and representatives. So what are you talking? You are uh, here just you just want to talk. Please, all this this on who was he was he I go. I'm not going to say I'm going to call me up. But only I'm going to send a good job. Obo. Eh, but you know, I go there. 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 Prime Minister, only Ajuja ne fuzo. Only now my head is here. All my the case has been treated, and I know the government is involved. You were following and see that we are the first government. We are the first government that intervened to protect Amaka, and we are standing with the Bawujaati tomorrow. First, we provided documentation, evidences to the Canadian government from the Foreign Affairs or the Deputy Foreign Government Neza. So, what are you here talking? And you claim to be following what we are doing? Oh. And there was a press release from the office of the prime minister. The, 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 and, and, the, and the news media carried it everywhere. The whole yes. Nigerian media carried it. And you are here talking. Ask a question. Uh -huh. Thank you. Your, your time is uh, gone. Thank you very much, uh, Yodo. All right, we'll take the next uh, person. Uh, please, I, I'm curious. I want to, where is this person? Mega. Okay, if, yes, somebody, exactly. if somebody, you can imagine, if somebody like Abu Jebwe, who is deep rooted into this struggle, can be asking this kind of question. Now, Josiano Miendo is like name. Oh, <laughs> honestly, so so annoying. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, 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 this Agu Jebu is one of the powerful people we have in the media. Did they send the message? Did they send the message now? WhatsApp? Did they have to voice mm. note, voice note everywhere? If he can mm. be asking this question by this time, now Jose, what are other people will be doing? Be careful. Be careful. Please, PM, please uh, bear, bear, with, bear, with, bear with him for now because uh, I think he must have learned. Uh, please, uh, uh, Hugo Beru, please, one minute, please, very quickly. Thank you. All right. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. I greet you, my Prime Minister. Go ahead, go ahead, go straight to the point, please. Um. It's not like a question, but uh, the this uh, this um, uh, the Biafra now the Biafra freedom. I just like think that <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The the thing the. <laughs> um, it's not coming out as I, w I want to ask it. Is 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 like my uh, my fears, my fears. Yeah, yeah. Due to the the way Nigeria is now. And the structure, the structure of Nigeria with the foreign, the the foreign, the foreign countries, the way they have treated Nigeria. I hope I, our alliance with other foreign countries, the West, they will not take advantage of Biafra like the way they did in this country called Nigeria. Let them, let them take advantage. We are ready to give them anything. Let them take advantage for now. You need freedom. Thank you. Let them, let them uh, come and take the advantage. We allow them to take the advantage for now. Uh, not like now we are fighting for freedom. I know let that them, now. Let them come and take the advantage. Oh, Bali, go we don't have a problem with that. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. but, uh, another one is... I have an encounter with um, uh, somebody that had a call in my prison from the East <laughs> claiming that they are uh, kind of security, securing our land. 
no security will call you they are criminals don't don't respond to them anybody that calls you they are the nigeria the nigeria internet no no not me in particular not me in particular so whoever that is calling you is a criminal don't listen to them please uh, can you change this person please there is too much noise all right uh yeah i think uh, we are good with you thank you who's please close your mic there all right uh uh, uh david after you then the after you might i don't know how long our pm still has david please unmute yourself Do we have thank you so much thank you so much deputy minister of information my minister of information i salute you as well the pm i salute you from my location sir my question to you sir i have a couple of questions but let me start with yes, this one yeah, number one question please, please speak to two best questions because after you then be after unite i don't know the pm we still have time for other questions just two questions okay out of all the questions you have so select the oh my god and, and you know, okay you know, i will try um you know yeah, you know yeah. david in on your own uh, american interview they come here <laughs> american <laughs> <design interview. laughs> so go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay pm over 50 million beer friends all over the world have given their mandate to the biafran government as you as well to speak to defend them I want to ask you, sir, if ever, I don't see that possibility, but I just want to ask you so that you can clear doubt of some overzealous Nigerians who may feel this that's, that way. If ever the terrorist Nigerian government... We can't hear you again, no? What happened? Did we lose him? G Gambia, Gambia network. Okay, yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you. <laughs> Okay, I said, if ever the Nigerian government decide to put referendum in their constitution, because they are now saying that this the, the one you are conducting is being conducted by a non-state actor. If they ever decide... Let me tell you. Okay, just ask your question. Ask your question. Okay, if they ever decide to say, okay, we have put referendum in our constitution, and they want to conduct for the Biafran people. Will you jettison the one that you spend so much resources to conduct? After, sir? After That's they, number one. After, after, you mean after they have killed our people who are going to listen to their nonsense? First of all, who is non-state actor? They have to define what is non-state actor. We are state actors. When you have a vote of 50 million, can they ever have they ever produced 50 million votes in their general election? So who is state here? Who is non-state? We are the one who have the legality of the people, who have the legitimacy of the people, who have the trust of the people. So they are not, they are the minority. So who is the, who is the, you know, the thing is that they, they don't know how brutal we are. Somebody like me, I have removed my heart for Nigeria. So I'm not the kind of person that I'm going to talk to about the constitution. Which constitution? How are they going to write a new constitution in this stage that Nigeria is today, where everything is shattered? Constitution is not something you just sit and they write and they, you know you say people. Constitution is something that involves everybody, including referendum on the constitution. People have to speak. Now, when Gulo Jonathan conducted the confab, did they accept it? Are they not state actor? Is Gulo Jonathan not a state actor? Let's even assume that uh, they are the state actor. Who is President Jonathan? President Jonathan was a president, organized confab. This is a city president organize a confab which they believe could be a solution as a then this northern oligarchy they, re they refused so today you want to tell me you want to write a constitution our own referendum is gonna they must must accept it either in peace or in pieces we're already in pieces so i don't think you think we're going back you think we are going back today three armor tank was destroyed you think we are going back today Obuni way, Obuni way bombed about 20 of them. You think we are going back? I don't think you know what we are doing at all. They must accept our referendum. We have provided a solution for our problem. <coughs> and that solution has been accepted by over 50 million people. So even if there's going to be any other referendum, the government of Biafra, which we have actually instituted, have our map, is going to be in charge to conduct that referendum. Apart from that, we will fight and fight the remaining people will get their friends thank you
Thank you so much. And I believe the Nigerian government have listened to this submission. My second question to you, sir, which have number B part, is this. Yes. The Prime Minister, the Prime Minister in one of your S account in one of your ex submissions or one so, of the so information let me, let me you made us to let me, understand let me, let me understand you first they say you have number two questions so this one is number one b <laughs> two b two a two a two a go ahead <laughs> you know i don't understand this where this a and b is coming from so go ahead <laughs> you, you know Deputy Minister Sai should answer only two questions. So I have to make number two, A and B, so that it okay. will fall within that same two. Okay. So, uh, okay. my so Prime Minister. Know, so this one is number two A now. Yes, number okay. two A, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. The PM, uh, you tweeted some time ago <laughs> that the Finnish police foiled five kidnap attempts on you and the two assassination attempts. I say kudos to them. And I want to ask you, the, Kudu, the Finnish police, were they able to do this because you are one of the influential citizens of the country as a councillor in Leti? Or is it how they are functioning in the country, irrespective of any citizen of Finnish, they have to defend it with everything that they have got? This is how they defend everybody in Finland, whether you are a citizen or not a citizen. Wow. Wow. Yes. Number it B. Matter, it doesn't matter your status. Once you are threatened, they take it very serious. And that's and that is why I'm bringing Finland to Biafra. You know, and when I'm telling you people I'm bringing Finland to Biafra, it is not a joke. We are going to have the same system. Wow. Thank you, my, my prime minister. I will, I must say kudos to the Finnish police. They are exceptionally and wonderful in their discharge of their duties. Now, number, the big question is this. You accuse the Nigerian government of terrorism against you and the Biafran people. And it's the same Nigerian government that is coming on social media to tell us that they are working with the European Union in order to extradite you. They have not been able to make comments concerning this accusation. If, 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 if anybody from the European Union listens to them, make a bend. You get that? I get that. And I believe they get it as well. Thank you so much. I have other questions, but let me give on for not, other. Are you, Thank you. See, are you not seeing how silent they are? Of course. You and think, that is why I'm worried. You think, you think I'm somebody that they can push around? They thought that when they say, let me tell you what is going on. They think that when they say, oh, European Union, I will go back and start hiding. That's what they are looking for. What I don't know is that I'm well grounded. It is not this right that I know very well. This is my right that I know very, 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 very well. The, <laughs> know the inner and everything. You want to come and uh, you stay in your zoo country there to come and tell me what is happening in Europe. No, but if anybody, if European Union answer these people, make a bet. Wow. European Union, Who's European Union, nonsense. Thank you. Next Thank question, you, please. Yeah. Okay, uh, Biafra Unite, I am sure you are also loaded like uh, like uh, David, but please uh, minimize your questions to one and two. Please don't let it have B and C and D. Uh, I I had I, <laughs> I had you, uh, uh, bam, bam, bam. I will make it one, two, and uh, two B, uh, two A, only two A. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you um and uh, pe uh, people think for people who don't know david is the lazen the afro lazen in gambia so for people who don't know him david nana is the lazen officer of the biafra republic of in exile in gambia wow he's, he's doing a very good job there mozambique, mozambique sir mozambique. 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 mozambique okay all right mozambique sorry uh, david is that a round of applause Thank you, thank you. All right, please go to the mic. All right, thank you. I hope I'm coming out clear, please. Clear, clear, sir. Your Excellency, 
uh, Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, Mazi Simonep and Joko, I thank you so much for your great jobs. Um, I want to go straight to the question, and uh, but I want to draw your attention to the current challenge on Twitter, which has been trending since yesterday and today. I don't know if you are aware of it, but this uh, trend or challenge is that the Afon Jazz are the ones now telling us who to use his name or who to use his picture for our struggle and uh, of course our fundraising so these challenges they are now saying according to the tweets which i have seen already they say that you are using mazinam de Kanu's face uh, for our flyers of <coughs> fundraising that if you think uh including ipob uh dos nigeria west african limited that if you think that you are popular that uh, you you should drop the face and the name of mazinam de Kano. so uh, have you seen this uh, uh, uh cha online challenge and are you let me, t let me let me tell you uh, i have seen it don't listen to them it is not me they are attacking the person they are attacking is mazinam de Kano, not me they know that at this point i call the shot not martin and the he's not fair he's not a free man so all they try to do is to use that particular propaganda so they can silence him completely so they can take his picture take him anything about him out of the mind of our people and that cannot happen the ipob nigeria criminals did it in the first they failed so you think it's the yoruba afonja people that is going to do it for them and succeed <laughs> When the IPOB in Nigeria could not succeed, is it Afonja that will succeed? Imagine. Forget them. What they are trying to do is so that we remove anything more than the kind of what we're doing. Mm. And then people will forget him. That's all. So they are very mad that all the money they spent to kidnap him from Kenya, he is still being heard of. His name is still ringing bell because of the activity of Simon Ekpa and the Biafra government. So they are mad, looking for every means to remove him and his face from whatever we are doing so that he will be nobody will remember him again even though we are calling for his re, for his release using our civil disobedience but i don't want that picture to be showing anywhere that's what they're after you remember when they said they are going to sue me to court yes. including his own his own fake assemblies i was asking where is the court i'm still waiting for them today where are they so don't listen to those all those i see those things now let them continue to propagate the awareness of Biafra. That's what they do. When they think that they are attacking me, that's what they're actually promoting what we are doing. For those who don't understand what we are doing, they will go and start searching for Simon Ekba, and then they will look at what we are doing and listen to media and see that Nigeria, the fuel is now 1,000 something. What can we do? This boy is, is shouting for a division of Nigeria where he's providing a better solution for his people. Oh, let us support, our, support him more. Let us go our own way. Look at our, our Maka sister, for example. Nigeria government come for her, for her head. Immediately, within 24 hours, the Biafra government took action. We begin to write Canada, we begin to write, and we are ready to provide anything she needs. That is what government is all about for your people, for the people, and for, the, uh, for your people. Nothing else. Mm. And today, she's up. Even though, when you see that the IPOB Nigeria was calling her, making video recording the and started using it for propaganda on social media did you see me making brokers or any of our our media personnel making brokers on amaka no <laughs> but they were calling her and we say oh we are going to just tell us just do this don't worry that um, we are angry that you are communicating with someone uh, don't worry we are going to call people we are, which people are you calling these are unorganized idiots unorganized idiot when a government of biafra is talking providing evidences writing you know from a department of foreign affairs a director a professor joy Irobi, signed a document provided evidences to the canada the canadian government and we are ready to fund till tomorrow to fund the legal fee that is what government is all about and that was actually what put the idiot the 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 uh, the Olosho in in uh, uh, you know 
to to sleeping uh, becoming a sleeping dog he was, she was back in did you see her back again mm -mm. because the people have called him have called her say ah samanepa has been taven, no? just leave that woman no? that's all when she was bri, 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 right, 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 did you see her right again did you see her talk those nonsense again because they, they know that i am mad when they talk about madness my own carry siki siki sis Siki 12. <laughs> Siki 12. Uh, Siki 12. When they think that they are mad, I am more mad than every, like all the Nigerians combined together. <laughs> all right. Uh, what, other people, what, other, what other people cannot do, I will do it and stand. And I will still stand. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, the second question, which will come with a, a, a two, 2 A and B. This, uh, talking about, I don't want, this one is not a question. I just want to emphasize briefly. This Amaka, uh, our sister, you talked about. There's a current video she made, I think, that yesterday or today, where she was angry with the IPOB DOS Nigeria West African Limited because they were telling her to make a brief video, a, a five minutes video, and send to them so that they can post it. And they, they, they were telling her to insult you, castigate you, and say that you must not interfere. To her case again i don't know if you have seen that video but that video is online now so that one apart then the second question is um in keep azua now you know initially before we thought that uh the because you talked about the fake siblings of mazinam de Kano. so before initially we thought they have understood who is actually fighting for their brothers really though somebody like me no uh their role especially in canon uno within canon armor we know their role on the kidnap of mazinam the canon so uh, i cannot be convinced in any way but we thought they have come down all this while but in keep as well it seems like the devil has started rearing its ugly head so my question is do you think they have now come together again with the dos west african limited to carry no, out their no, second attack. No, 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 no. They have not come back together. As a matter of fact, Oyen Dumasin and the Kano have warned them never to attack me again. But as you can see, the attack is still coming, which means they have no regard for him. Two, <laughs> two, Masin and the Kano have also threatened and warned the one they call Uchechi never to utter a word against me again and i challenge them to come on social media and uh, bring her again on, on, on radio biafra to attack me and then we will see the consequences of that that is the latest wow so the one they call the uh, meme is a is a is a cast nature are you aware that he was locked up for three months he was just released a few days ago. He was locked up for snatching a car. Of course, they claim that uh, he bought the car, a snatch car. He didn't buy any car. He, he was part of the snatchers. He was locked up, detained for three good months. Did you hear it on social media? Did you hear it in any media? In any media? No, because they are one of they are part of those who kidnap their brother hmm. in order to make money. Hmm. Do you know that? Do you know that immediately Mazin and Dekano was kidnapped? This guy had built a White House. Are you aware of that? Mm, yeah. You are aware of that, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So now think about it. Without walking. Or... Thing, without walking. The same thing, Hopus or Dema, the one Igwe, one Igwe, which I exposed last time, Hopus or Dema, Igwe. He is involved in kidnapping. He is the one kidnapping people. And when they kidnap, they are kissing their friends. This man was arrested. And is still locked up till today. Did you hear it in any media? They have transferred the man back to Imo State. Hmm? Hello, Mel. I mentioned his name. I mentioned his, his name last time. He is kidnapping and killing people. That, that, that was a guy that came back from abroad. They, he went and kidnapped that guy and killed him. And this man is a right hand man of hope. So the man. And why are nobody talking about it? As I'm talking to you today, the man is still in detention. Because this is a part of them. The same thing that happened to this man, man. Mazin and the Kano brother. Nobody talked about it. No media. He was detained for three good months. No media. 
The same Yugwe is still detention. As I'm talking to you here now, Yugwe is still detained. They have transferred him back to Owere. Hmm. For kidnapping. All right. Uh, now, then, okay. The issue, then the issue of uh, what would the, you talked about the, uh, okay, the issue of Amaka. Hmm. Amaka owns that the government of Biafra, like we have done to every other person, 